Hi there! In this video we will make these wooden pulleys without using a lathe or even ruining your drill press. The only thing we need is a simple rotor jig made out of scrap wood and some standard hardware. This jig will make the process much safer and improve the precision of the pulleys. To produce the jig we will use 4 layers of 40mm thick birch plywood. The dimensions of the jig comply with the size of the pulleys we want to make. To create a recess for the workpiece, the two layers on the base have to be shorter than the upper ones. The turning axis is mounted to the upper layers of the jig and supported by two ball bearings. At first we will cut the plywood parts from a piece of scrap and glue the two base layers together. And then I mark the positions of the bearings on the upper layers and drill an undersized pilot hole. This pilot hole should have a bigger diameter than the inner ring of the bearing you use. If this is done, I bring the hole to final size with a router and a sharp spiral bit. The bearing sits into this hole just by a tight press fit. Now we can finish the body of the jig by gluing on the top layers. Then I use a drill bit and a square to check if the axis is at a perfect 90 degree angle. To make the axis itself we need hexagon head screws, nuts, lock nuts and washers. I grind one of the nuts slightly conical. This cone will center the rough part to the axis. Let's make the pulleys. We start with a sheet of 50mm thick birch plywood that I cut to a strip that is slightly bigger than the pulleys I want to make. Then we continue with the same procedure of drilling a pilot hole and milling the hole to the final size. And with this fancy shop wax setup we can suck the chips directly into the pilot hole. That keeps the view free and we can mill very precise to the marking line. If you want to cut out the pulleys with a hole saw, you should place them as close as possible to the edge of your strip. The outlet allows the sawdust to come out of the curve. That prevents the tool from overheating and burning the cutting edge.
Now we can clamp the rough part to the jig by tightening the conical nut. Be sure that every nut on the jig is tightened well. Before the milling operation starts, I check if the pulley runs relatively true. Here I start the milling process. In my case I chose a rotor bit with 7.5mm radius. That creates a 50mm U-shaped groove in my pulley that fits perfectly around the 50mm aluminum pipe. It's very important to machine the pulley by upcut milling. The movement of the workpiece is in a reverse direction to the movement of the tool. Otherwise, the blade of the rotor can grab your workpiece and pull it forward in an uncontrolled and dangerous way. The infeed of the pulley should also be very careful. In my case, the wool milling operation needs 40 seconds. For my upcoming project I need 4 pulleys and therefore 8 half pieces. After milling I remove the burr, press the ball bearings in and glue 2 pieces together. Maybe I will add a coat of varnish later. Here they are, ready to use. Thanks for watching. If you want to know what's going on with these little guys in the next project, you should like and subscribe my channel. Komm mal raus, du Schwein. Yeah.